Hello boys and girls, it's me Alex again and welcome to another tutorial by AG Web Studios. In this video I will be talking about Microsoft DOS and the emulator that I'm using on my Windows 7 to run some really really old applications from Windows 95, 98, Millennium and some really old operating systems. In this video I will be talking about DOSBox, the emulator of Microsoft DOS and as an example of installing really some old software I'm going to use simulator called simulator M6800 which is the Motorola program for students that uh, plays with multiprocessing and stuff like that so let me start what you need to do is download DOSBox DOSBox is a really small tool and it's an emulator for Microsoft DOS you're gonna just type in Google DOSBox and click here you're gonna go to downloads and find the appropriate version you're just gonna click download actually here anyway yeah after you download it and simply install it in two or three clicks next 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 your software will be ready to use uh, when you install it you will get this icon in your desktop you're just gonna double click it and your emulator is here this is the Microsoft DOS emulator we ain't going to talk about the DOS and PROM right now because judging that, well, keeping in mind that actually you're watching this video, I'm pretty sure that you need to be aware about what DOS is and how it works. Anyway, if you need help with some commands, you can just type help or just go to Google Wikipedia or somewhere and just find out more about DOS. Anyway, I'm going to close it right now because we don't need that at the moment. What we need actually is to run this little program that's been coded like 20 years ago or 15 and make it possible to run in Windows 7. I can do it two ways. I can drag the exit file on the DOS box and it will open it here as you can see. You can see the details here. We're gonna wait a bit. It takes a few seconds. Doesn't matter how good or bad your computer is mine is one of the best but still takes some time and you see we have the really really old emulator uh, simulator actually yeah, this is DOSBox's emulator and software that we are looking at right now is simulator called Motorola 6800 as you can see there are many options here about multiprocessing and stuff anyway that's anyways that's not our subject uh, so let me close it so one of the ways to run it was to drag like this exit file but yeah sure that's really annoying I mean each time you want to run this thing you will just need to do this and no we don't want that I made a shortcut here and if I double click it it will open this how did I do that well considering that you can't make a shortcut like this uh, I mean there's no open web when it comes to exe files and especially DOS files what we need what we're going to do here is make a special special shortcut I've already made it but I'm going to copy the code for you so you have it as well so and I'm going to explain it so here's the shortcut here as you can see this here is the directory where my DOS box is installed okay this is the configuration of DOSBox configuration file and this here is directory where my simulator is located right now as you can see is located on my desktop so I will copy this code for you in my on my website and when you copy it and then you before you go create a new shortcut you will make sure that your software is installed in this, this directory by default this so when you open an uh, exe file of installation of the Dropbox, uh, of DOSBox, just install it next, 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 and it will be installed right here. Only thing that you're n that you will need to change probably is this here. It won't here. It will be Alexander, and it needs to be your username. So you will need to change this. And if your simulator is located somewhere else, you will need to pick a root directory where it is it located. How did I manage to find where is mine? Well, if you, for example, if I open my simulator on my desktop, and if I click here, 
I have the directory you see I can just copy it and paste it over here and that's how I actually did it you just copy it here you see that's the di directory if you, if your simulator is at, at D or uh, like let's say music you will just copy this directory and you would put it there you see what I mean so basically just make sure that this here is where your program is installed and that this here is where your simulator or another program or anything is located so just make sure that your directory is okay when you have this you will copy this you will right click on your DOS box or just say okay new and shortcut and you will just paste this and go next and call it my program my program or some old game finish and if I double click it you see it opens my simulator my simulator which is Motorola simulator so basically this is the step actually to make any game or any program from Windows 95 98 and stuff work so basically this shortcut means a lot and also if you have it you can just open that particular folder or a program and its exe file should be dragged to the DOS box okay well that's it so once again you will need DOS box in my case I, I, I was using Motorola Simulator M6800 you can I will put downloads uh, uh, download links for both you can download them both if you want to play around with this and I hope you will find uh, appropriate uh, program and stuff you want to use from some older operating systems anyway I hope you have enjoyed this video please subscribe please comment and share and that's pretty much it anyways until the next video see you around have fun